think to myself, what a wonderful Hi friends, it's finally here. It's Thursday. I'm gonna film the first part of my classroom setup, which isn't like a crazy setup video. It's just kind of organizing some things and unpacking the box from the school. So, if you're new here, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. My name is Jesslyn Revel. I'm going into my 10th year of teaching junior high. I know I'm one of the crazies. Um, I am a mom and I'm also a wife here in Southeast Louisiana. And I just, I can't believe I've been teaching for 10 years now. So, what's going to happen today? All right, that's a little bit better. So, I'm going to go to the storage unit today and get some stuff to put into the cabinets in my classroom. And I'm also going to go up to the school, which I'm kind of like anxious about. I don't like going places that I don't know where I'm going. And our school's technically still in a... Like it's an active construction site. So like, I'm just real anxious about like maneuvering the place. I don't know. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take y'all with me today. I'm really excited. I'm not excited to start back to school. I'm just kind of excited to start moving things out of the storage unit because maybe storage units are not cheap. So let's get that started today, okay? Welcome to the room. Okay, so that was a quick little pain of the room. Okay, so before you come for me, I did not build this room, so please, I don't need the comments about the glass. Don't need the comments about the glass, but we're gonna start putting stuff into cabinets and just getting stuff put away. This is all I'm doing today because they're changing up all my furniture. It's not the right furniture in my room, so that's gotta be changed. So let's unbox some stuff and put stuff away. Good morning, guys. It's now Monday. I never ended up closing out Friday, not Friday, Thursday, and showing y'all what went on. Um, all I did was unpack and put some stuff in a cabinet. That's all I did. That's all I did. And then a lot of people wanted to talk because, you know, we haven't seen each other since May. And it's a new it's a new school build and it's exciting. So today, I'm actually like, my furniture still isn't the right furniture in my room. So I can't do much until I have my correct furniture. This week, they're putting teacher desk in our rooms. And, oh, that's something in my eye. Teacher desk in our actual storage that goes in our room. So, I think we have, like, a half bookshelf and then, like, a half cabinet thing. I don't know. Um, so, I cannot put things away until I get my correct furniture. So, the only thing I can do at this point is start putting things up on the wall. Now, mind you, it's going to be very limited. Very limited. Because we have windows on both sides, like, my classroom has windows on two walls and then two walls are whiteboard walls so i can't put anything on the windows we were told we couldn't do that and i'm very limited to how much i can put on a whiteboard wall so i bought my stuff to put on whiteboard walls and then i think i'm gonna hang up a mirror on this the interior door that's connected to like the adjacent classroom and then that's pretty much all I'm going to do today. It's been a hectic morning. It's currently like 740. I can't go on the campus until 8 o'clock. So I'm like sitting in a parking lot near the school until I can go. But I was out all morning. This is like, you know, the week before actual school starts when you start practicing like your routines again. And because I have a child, like I have to practice my routine. So that poor child, he was up at 1 o'clock this morning ready to like get it started. And I had to wake him up at 5.30 to get him dressed to bring him to his momo. He was not happy with me. But I made it to my mother-in-law's house for 6 o'clock, which is... I'm trying to time, like, 6 o'clock and then be at school for 6.45. Although it doesn't take 45 minutes to get to school, I take into account, like, traffic and all that stuff. So, I'm excited about 
today. So, hopefully I can get a lot done. I'm like crossing my fingers that the furniture stagers stage my furniture today. Like, please, God, please, because that would make it a crap ton easier and I could start storing things in my cabinets under the tables that I have. But I'm not crossing it. I'm not like holding my breath for that because they're busy doing a lot on the school. So, uh, it was a morning, y'all, and the puppy is in surgery right now. I say puppy. She's like four now. Um, sister's in surgery, so that's, that's something. So, it's gonna be a busy day, but I'm ready to get a lot accomplished in my room. Remember, today's August 1st. We start back August 4th, and the kids start back next Tuesday, August 9th. So, I've never, ever, ever set up a classroom this late. I like to take my time on it. This year, it's like, boom, get it done when you can get it done because there's construction going on in our school. So, I hope I can get it done. Let's go. I'm going to be sitting here until I can go on campus. But I'll see you guys when I get on campus and move all of my crap that I'm bringing today. Not the dog kennel, but there's like stuff behind there. I'll see you guys when I get into my room. So, see you soon. Made it to my classroom and guess what? All my correct furniture is in the room. So I do need to go in, organize that a little bit because it's not in the right order that I want. It makes the room look small, small, which it's not that big, but it's small. But I need to go do that. But I want to show y'all what I did Thursday. Okay, hold on. Thursday was dedicated to getting my cabinet back in order. It's still a little messy. There's some things that I'm going to put in these big cabinets on the desk. So, let me get started on that first. I think this is how I'm going to do the layout. With this corner being my desk. And hopefully I can bring Franklin. I'm going to really say some prayers that I can do that. It is a tight squeeze in here, y'all. It is very tight in here. But with all, all this crap lined up against the walls, I'm hoping the TV, the panel can go right here. And it'll look fine. So, let's start putting stuff into our cabinets and drawers. Y'all, there have been some changes since I last picked up the camera. So while I'm working, we realized my silver cabinet thingy, the cabinet in the corner, it was blocking outlets. So the original layout of the room with my old furniture that wasn't the right furniture, that's how it showed the design, which was wrong. So I had to empty it out and they moved it to the opposite corner of the room. So I've yet to put my stuff back in. There's the cabinet in the corner. There's all the stuff on the desk. I had to like move everything out. Okay. Now, after that, the staging, furniture stage people walk in, they're like, they're doing double checks on furniture and they're like, hey, those are the wrong tables. I'm like, great. So they came and switched out my little thin tables in the middle with thicker tables. I would just pinch myself on the table. Thicker tables, which is fine, but like now it feels even more cramped. But it is what it is. I'm, walking, I'm currently looking across the building way into the 100 hall wing and I can see people moving furniture in those classrooms. But now, I kind of started staging what I want on the walls. Here's my dilemma. Nothing sticks on these walls. Nothing. And you can't have glue. That's out of the question. The painter tape doesn't stick. I don't know what I'm going to do. So, this is what, and I'm sitting in the very back of the classroom. This is what I have so far. It's a little crooked because you guys are crooked on the table. But this is what I have so far. Where it's not going to be much. It's literally just telling them that's the science wall. I may move that up a little bit higher. But I need my husband's ladder. And then I have 
I can statement, the standards, the agenda, and then I'll put probably on this side, my rules, or actually just procedures, and then TV's gonna, the new line panel's gonna have to stay right there. And then on this wall, I wanna bring Franklin and put him here and put his rules right there. But that's what it's looking like. So I think I'm gonna stage this back wall, like I did the front for my STEM class, put everything back in the containers, and then I'm going to call it a day because I'm exhausted. It's, it's only like, it's almost 11 o'clock. I need to pick up my dog from the veterinary hospital at 11. She has surgery, you know that. So I need to pick her up after 11, bring her home, go get the baby, for like 12.45, 1 o'clock, no, 1 o'clock, 1.30, bring him home. But I think this is all I can do today. I did move things in the corners that they belong in for when my desk gets delivered. Now, the command strips do hang on the wall, but I'm kind of like, I don't know if I want to Mm, I don't know if I want to put command strips on that. We'll see. Although the matte spray really did work with all the windows and the glare. It looks great. It looks great. So let's, let's move everything back into the cabinets first. Stage the wall back here. And then I'll show you what I did today. I've only been here for like three hours now, so really not bad for all the in and outs for people because they're still like trying to get things together, so not too shabby. I'm done for the day. So I'll kind of show y'all what I did today. Like it was kind of a hot mess, but it is what it is. So just wait and see, wait and see. When you walk into the room, it's different now than it was when I first got in here. They put the correct tables. This is the layout of the furniture. Kind of a tight squeeze. My room feels a little bit smaller than some other rooms. Then we have the cabinet on the far end of the wall. This back area is going to be where my desk is. I'm trying my hardest to bring Franklin to put him here. And then TV is going to move. It's always going to move. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. And I hate this. I'm still playing with the layout of it. It's going to come back down. Uh, I bought some tack stuff, some tacky stuff to put it up on the walls. We'll see. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I did put a clock on the wall and the mirrors on the door. Other than that, everything is in a place. Like it's hard to see the lighting sucks in here. Um, everything's in a place, I'm waiting for my desk to come right here. And then like I have some more bins to bring tomorrow to put inside of the cabinet so that I can put those clipboards and stuff, so. So that's it for part one. It was a mess, a hot mess. There's so really not much to do. You can hear the construction going on right now outside. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please, 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 please hit that like and subscribe. Let's be friends. Because it's going to be a year, a crazy year. I think it's going to be crazier than last year's, last year's school year. So let's be friends and let's get through this together. So, I will probably be back tomorrow to drop off some stuff. I don't think I'm going to stay and set up. There's really nothing to set up until we get our teacher desk in, in our cabinets. Other than that, this is it. So I'm about to peace out. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully it's not dreadful doodles as Daisy Duck would say, cause my baby watches Mickey Mouse all the time. But be on the lookout. School starts in a few days and I'm trying to get this classroom as good as it can be before then. So. We'll see if we can do it. I like a good challenge. We'll see if we can get there.